YouTube, this is Mikey Blaze 18 with another Ben 10 figure review. And happy Labor Day to everybody around the world. Today we have a special appearance on this Labor Day weekend that survived from the extinction of the last line of the Ben 10 Omniverse line. Here you have is Bob Weevil. We'll get into his bio in a minute. Let's talk about him. Let's get a close-up look. Wow. Bandai did a really good job um, making this character come to life. He's just like an ordinary, an ordinary bug type uh, alien. But they captured him really well and he just popped out of the cartoon. Anyway. And he has survived from the last extinction from the Benton Omniverse line. It's a shame we never got him in stores. He was shown at the New York 2013 uh, Toy Fair in New York City by Bandai America. Along with Walker Trout, Pesky Does and uh, Molestache, and Bug Lizards, and many others. But the other many figures were in stores, like Shock Squatch, Rook, Feedback, Blocks, uh, Ben, uh, Kuiper, and Zed, his dog, and stuff. I'm glad uh, that he survived. I, he, I think he could be worth, like, um, $80 billion. Or 80 million or so. And I got him at a garage sale. You know like how garage sales uh, do rare stuff. and rare, rare sales and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll, let's get into his bio. He's from an... He's from an unknown planet, and his species is uh, he's and he's an unknown species from a, an unknown planet. So and stuff, he has big buggy eyes and a mouth, and the ometric symbols on his chest, I believe. And and, and also, I I he then also came with a green ball because. I found the screen ball. I was wondering if I could save it for something, and I managed to save it for Ball Weevil and stuff. Because you 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 know how you get these balls like at Chuck E. Cheese or in the ball pit where you where you bring your kids to, or uh, at theme parks or circuses. I don't know if they did circuses, but anyway. Carry on. Let's talk about his appearance. He mer he merged. I mean, he first appeared in the Benton on the first episode uh, of Predators of Prey, and Bald Weevil is a small insect-like alien. He is yellow in color with black eyes and green pupils. He has four stick legs and a brick along with a big antenna. He wears the ometric symbol on a green and white brace around his neck. I just call it chest but not brace but it doesn't matter anyway. We'll get to his powers and abilities. Okay. His powers and abilities, uh, he can create plasma ball uh, creation that can absorb matter and explode upon impact. Plasma Whips, Enhanced Agility, Enhanced Speed, Wall Climbing. And he also spits him out and ride it on his own ball, while I will demonstrate you in a second.
And he just like rolls around and stuff. Uh, we'll talk about his predator. Terror Terrarantula. Ball weevils goofballs can be neutralized by uh, Terrarantula's energy webs. Ball weevil can also be trapped in Terrarantula's webs. Wow. Yeah, Ball Weevil better stay away from his from the predator. Uh, he has to face his own predator and stuff. And we'll talk about his weakness. Ball Weevil can be hurt by his own plasma balls if they are reflected at him. Ball Weevil can also get stuck in his own plasma balls. Wow, I did not even know that. Yeah, and the predators of prey, predators of prey or predators a prey. Uh, where he defeat, uh, he tries to defeat Kyber and stuff. And yeah, let's learn some facts. His name is a combination of ball and weevil. Ball. His name is a combination of ball and ball weevil, according to Derek J. White, who's also the art director of Ben 10 Omniverse. He comes from the same planet as the worst, another transformation that Ben used in the episode Outbreak. He originally wanted Ball Weevil to be called Turbertilar. I don't know how you say it. Ball Weevil's powers bear a resemblance to the Catarinaris. From Katamar Democracy? Democracy? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway. I'm so surprised that. He actually survived the same thing as uh, I, from the walker trout that I bought. You know, if you haven't checked out my walker trout video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and stuff. Let's get a close up look. And, oops. And we'll. Look at this little green ball. You can only get these green balls like at a ball pit or a Chuck E. Cheese. Or a, I don't know you got I don't know you get these at Toys R Us. If Toys R Us, you're my childhood all of eternity. Love you. Can't Maggie. Get in the stand. I think it could be, be tricky. Oops. It could be tricky just getting, you know, getting in the stand. Okay, there we go. Wow. He pretty stands pretty good, um, you know, compared to the cartoon, you know. Have you seen one of the episodes he rolls around in his own ball and craze and tries to beat Billy Billions? Um, and it's a copy Tron from Dimension 12. And so, just to let you guys know, he was shown, he was displayed at the New York 2013 Toy Fair. And sadly, uh, we never got him in stores and stuff because he is a super rare, uh, a super rare figurine to find. I'm so glad to add him to my collection as well. Because Ben and I really did so great on creating this cartoon character. Yeah, can you imagine what his live action version will look like? If he decides to... I'll do a Ben 10 Omniverse live action movie and stuff. Because I know they haven't done an Ultimate Alien one yet. 
Well, they did an Alien Force one. It was Alien Swarm. And it's, it's, no. But he looks really, really good. Ben, I'm so happy that I got this rare, also second rare figurine in my collection. I think he's going to be, be worth about like uh, uh, 90 billion dollars or more. But I'll never sell him at all because I'm going to keep him forever because he's at least my second best favorite character, Arthur. Until then, um, check out the Crazy Raiders. I mean, what I, I forgot to say. Um, so there you have it, Ball Weevil. Until then, check out the Crazy Rage, Raiders Riders.com and check out Dawson Riders videos. This is Mikey Plays 18, signing out.